My name is Lizette Orton and I do stuff with words. I write stories, poems, I create theatre. I love words and creativity. I'm working with Kirkleatham Museum to help you get creative at home. I've been thinking about the story of Saltburn. How in the Victorian days, Henry Pease had an idea that he wanted to build a town where there was only a few houses already. It made me wonder, if I could just build a town, a new place, what would it be like? What would I put in my town? You'll need some pens and paper and your imagination. Together, we're going to create an imaginary town. All the towns in our area have things that are the same and things that are different. For example, Redcar has the beach. Middlesbrough has the river and the transporter bridge. Darlington has a big railway station. What will your town have and where will it be? Let's make a list of the things you need to have in your town. I'm going to start with houses for people to live in, but I'd like them all to have gardens. It would need a doctor's surgery and some local shops. What else would your town need? Think of the things in your town to help you out. Then let's think of the things you want to have in your town. Have a think of the things that make the town you live in special. I would like a library and a bookshop and lots of parks to play and walk in with a river running through. Think of the things your town doesn't have but you'd really like. I'd like an ice skating rink and a big community centre where everyone can come together. I'd want there to be no steps up to buildings and lifts everywhere so all my friends can come. What would you put on your list? Did you know that when buildings are built and towns are designed, builders use plans so they know exactly what goes where? Even towns that have been built up over time have plans and you need to get permission to build new things or change old bits. Let's create our imaginary town. Using your list, have a go at making your town plan. It can be very detailed and precise or it can be wild and colourful. This is the beginning of my town plan. You can see everything that was on my list. Plus, there's a butterfly park and there's a school which has a big open air stage so we can put on performances. What does your town look like? Remember to give your town a name. If you wanted to, you could have a go at building it. Have fun creating your own imaginary town.